Hey everybody, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you another Redstone tutorial. This time, I'm doing something a little bit more different. I'm not doing a, several, uh, a build that necessarily is designed for survival, but can be used in survival. But, yeah, what we got here is a binary counter. Now, for those that don't understand how to use binary, pretty much... Yeah, all it is is just on and off sequences based around certain things and each value has a certain thing 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 56 so on and so forth so if we wanted to we can set this up where it'll count up to a certain amount and then something happens so let me uh, hit this button this lamp will go off this lamp will go off and this lamp will go on so if I hit this button, it takes a bit. It's not instantaneous, but as you can see, it did exactly what I said. Now if I hit the button again, this first lamp will go on. Absolutely perfect. Now the biggest trick in binary is a reset. So I've got a simple little button here to reset the entire thing and set it all to zero because if the lamp's off it's zero again it's not instantaneous but it works so what do you say guys let's get to building this thing okay guys I'm back and I pretty much got everything you need for a basic setup for it so uh, let's take a quick look all right, you're going to need roughly about four pieces of dust, a couple of building blocks, two droppers, a hopper, two repeaters, two comparators, a random item, and I'm using the redstone lamp as an output source. So let's just grab all of this stuff, and I'm going to utilize this right here. So what we need to do is take a dropper putting up and a dropper going out with a hopper in the side and a comparator on it. On the back side, on, above the bottom dropper, right next to it, place a solid block and put a repeater. You can leave it on default and we can take that out now. And throw a random item in here. And this is the control circuit. So now to set up for the counter, what we're going to do is put a comparator output here. I'm going to just put a block up and the lamp on it and let me just uh, get a button here so that we can uh, activate it and as you can see the lamps off now to continue this on I'm just going to pick block that because I want to be able to set that there hopper Comparator, uh, hopper, dropper, comparator. And you continue this on as many times as you want. So, yeah, it just makes it quite easy. So now let's get on to the reset now for the reset to work right one we have to turn off all turn off these comparators so I'm just gonna set up uh, another quick one And uh, if you notice, I do not have a comparator on this one because I don't need one. So we're just going to line the top of this with blocks. And we're going to make a line back here. And we don't have to worry about anything there. So what we're going to do is, for this point, we're just going to run dust all along here. 
and then we're going to have to create something very simple and it's not necessary I just found this to be the easiest way to control it I am just going to do a observer single pulse observer there so now if I take my button and place it here and power it now all of them are down and if I hit this once it's going to pulse so How do we control that? Well, let's just set a observer here. And I'm just going to Yeah, let's change that up. Let's put a sticky piston here. And for uh, e for my ease, I am just going to just utilize the ticking of a of a uh, repeater, changing the state to activate it. So now every time we hit it, it just increases it by one. We have four, five. Six, seven, zero. And if we activate this, it's just going to completely reset it. Now, if you need it to be longer, doing a, a pulse extender would be good just to be able to extend the length. And you can just use repeaters to power everything. I right, to extend the signal. The longer you make it, the more delay, uh, the more long, the longer you're going to have to have this pulse holding these droppers in. So push the button, activate one, two, three. Four, and each one will put a unique output because of it being binary and you can actually say oh this happens on this set of turn this timer and this one happens on this set of timer and this completely resets after this by having it all set up and then just running it into something like this with that being powered but yeah and the nice thing is this, if I am absolutely sure, which I'm pretty sure I am, this will also work on Bedrock. Uh, this will also work on Java. I haven't tested it on Java, but it, I'm pretty sure it will work on Java. But I hope you guys have found this video quite entertaining. If you guys liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions in the comments, you can leave them down in the comments section or join my Discord. Link will be in the description. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to join my Patreon. Link will be in the description. But you guys... This is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.